What's good, Joe? Hey, Barack, what's up? Hold on, we're just waiting on Bill. Hey, boys. Hey, Bill, bro, how you been? I could be better, I won't lie. I've seen the community post from the creator explaining how the Black 2 playthrough is practically over. Stupid damn hard drive corrupting. It is what it is, unfortunately. Wait, so why have you called us? I don't really see the point in this since we can't continue the series. Well, I mean, just because we can't continue the Pokemon series doesn't mean we can't do something else. I thought it would be a fun idea to do something that the creator suggested to the fans a couple weeks back, a tier list. And one of our fine fans gave us a really good idea ranking WWE titles. I'm down for that. You know what? So am I. Let's do this. Awesome. I'll just get the list up and share my screen with you too. All right, gentlemen, let's do this. I'm noticing that the most recent undisputed and world titles aren't on this list. This was unfortunately the latest one I could find. So we'll just include the newest titles on this at the end of the video. Anyways, we're starting off strong with the big gold belt. Got it! Men of culture, I see. Man, what a title this is. I'm so glad we have something like this back in our lives. I mean, I don't even think the new version comes close to matching with the original big gold. It's just so simple, yet so perfect at the same time. It also has some amazing champions. I'd tell you them, but my memory's starting to get fuzzy. I'm pretty sure that's just Triple H's reign of terror messing with your head. But yeah, I don't think this needs to be discussed further. This is the best damn title on the list. Now with that said, boys, allow me to edit one of the tiers very quickly. All right, there we go. Cursed? Yep, and that's where the women's tag titles are going. Now before anything, I just wanna say that I actually like the designs of the titles. Unfortunately, everything else about them is just negative. Every time someone is holding on to these titles, they take a Joe Biden-like fall and injure themselves. Low blow there, Bill. Was that really necessary? It wasn't. Sorry, Joe. It's not just all the injuries, but all the controversy, too. The Mercedes and Bailey drama from Mania 35, the Mercedes and Trinity drama from just last year. You mean Sasha and Naomi? No, Joe, that's in their past. I think it's fair to say that Vince never cared about these titles to begin with. I mean, it's a known fact that the man hates tag team wrestling. All the more surprising that these were even created in the first place. Yeah, you were right to make a cursed tier, Barack. Which is where the universal title is going to. Now hold on, Barack, I'm not having this. Our almighty tribal chief, AKA the only man I would give up my presidency for, made this title the most prestigious championship in the world before they were unified at Mania 38. That's true, Joe, but everything before the tribal chief can't be ignored. I've got a list for you, Joe. Finn injuring himself upon winning it, Goldberg squashing Kevin at Fastlane, Brock Lesnar's reign of terror, which included that Braun Strowman squash at Crown Jewel, Seth's miserable reign with it in 2019, and finally The Fiend being inserted into the title picture to begin with, before he himself got squashed by Goldberg too. I understand that the title had a very bad lineage before Roman returned at SummerSlam 2020. But doesn't the tribal chief's reign balance it out? I'm sorry, Joe, but your argument is completely walled by the fact that this title is hideous. No matter if it's red or blue, the design was lazy and stupid, and that alone should kill any defense you may have for the it. The negatives, unfortunately, shine much brighter than the positives, Joe. But of course, even with that said, Roman's work with the title was still amazing. Okay, you know what? Now that you've acknowledged him, I'm fine with this title being put in cursed. What about the WWE Championship? that practically has the same design. Yeah, but because it doesn't have a lipstick strap, we can appreciate it for what it really is. Generic? Absolutely. But I still think it's a good looking title. It's had some great moments too. Brock's first reign with it. The heist of the century. All three members of the Shield holding it at Money in the Bank. AJ's year long reign. Kofi Mania. And finally, Drew's pandemic reign. Yeah, but on the flip side, there's that god-awful Mahal reign that it was always outshadowed by Brock when he was the Universal Champion. Unlike the Universal title, though, I'd say the positives outshine the negatives. I'm going to put it in B. What do you guys think? Yeah, that's fine. It deserves that for the heist of the century alone. I'm just going to stick the beta design in along with it. Now for the spinner belt. Okay, look, I know the likes of Cena and Edge made this a very prestigious title but I'd argue that this deserves C tier for the design alone. What, but the spinner title was so cool. Are you five, Joe? To be honest, I agree with you, Bill. Your company's top prize should never be as goofy as what this was. The top prize in wrestling, being a spinner belt. Yeah, no thank you. Wait, what the hell is this one? That's Brian Danielson's eco gimmick belt from 2019. But I'd make the case that titles made for individuals shouldn't count for this list. I agree, Bill including those belts would just be tedious. With that said, boys, I think we've got a triple set of goaded titles, right? Oh, yes. The undisputed title, 
and the Winged Eagle Championship. So damn good. Steve Austin said, these are the kinds of titles that you need to hold. I'd have the White House's exterior changed to include the Winged Eagle Championship if it was possible. That's how goaded it is. Not to mention the great champions these titles have had. No more discussion needed, boys. Let's move on. What do you guys think about the Intercontinental Championships? I mean, the current one isn't on here either. The same goes for the current United States title, too. Oh, for f sake. Look, we'll put the recent ones on screen somewhere. I mean, I don't like the current one too much. Doesn't it feel like something is missing to you guys? Actually, yeah, Joe. It's the blue globe. It just doesn't feel complete without it. As true as that is, Gunther's title reign should keep it out of the lower tiers. I mean, I was going to say B for it anyway. The same for the Ruthless Aggression version, too. Don't get me wrong, I like that one as well. But nothing beats the classic Intercontinental title. Cody was an absolute hero for bringing it back. Not to mention it had some very good champions, Cody himself. And you'd be a fool to forget The Miz. It's the white strap that does it for me, guys. The most perfect mid-card title in WWE history. Into A it goes. Oh, yes, the US title. I mean, I get that we're presidents, but we shouldn't put the title in just for Theory that. held the current one, put it in the top tier. Oh, no. What's going on? Bill, do you even watch the GM Mode series? Joe has an unhealthy obsession for Austin Theory. Why? Because he does it like the best, and it's obvious. Enough, I'm putting it in B for the design and moving on. What about the old one? Because honestly, I might make a case for it going into A. You've seen Open Challenge, right? 2015 wasn't the best year for the WWE, but oh man, that US Open Challenge was the best bit of wrestling for the entire week. Agreed, but I can't put it into A for that alone. Not when you've got the undisputed and winged eagle titles in Besides there. Besides Cena, I'm having trouble thinking of anyone else who held it. MVP had a good reign. As did others. But it's not nearly as memorable as the classic Intercontinental Championship. For that reason, we're putting it in B. Now onto the women's titles. They're going in D. Slow down, Barack. No, Bill. Look at them. Look at those god-awful designs. No effort made at all to differentiate them from the men's titles. But even today, they're no different except for the white straps. The difference is today's titles are much better looking. But what about the great memories, including the WrestleMania 35 main event? Not a chance you brought that pathetic excuse of a main event up. That should have been Ronda versus Becky only, and you damn well know it. That match is not helping your argument. If the universal title is getting a bad ranking, even with the tribal chief holding it, then you can be damn sure you're not getting any support from me, Bill. Well, damn. Guess I'm outnumbered. I still think this is crap, though. I'll tell you what's crap. The 24-7 title. Terrible, get it off my screen. Oh, come on, guys. Our truth with the belt was so fun. Titles aren't supposed to be made for fun. Sure, there was some great memories with it, like the segment he had with Brock. But it was a joke championship. The only reason it's not going in cursed is because, at the very least, it gave the mid-carters something to do. No matter how much EC3 was clearly not enjoying it. I'm putting the tag titles in D as well. Can we agree with that? Why the hell have they still not given them a new design yet? They look like pennies on a damn piece of colored cardboard. Yeah, they can go in D. I'm not even going to bother with the copper penny tag belts. What a waste of time. Time for the cruiserweight title. This title deserves so much more. True, but the design of this belt is atrocious. Another penny belt in my eyes. Joe, that's twice now that you've made a reference towards English currency. I'd comment, but Jordan would be on my ass again. Who are you talking about? It once again doesn't help that Vince probably didn't even want to have the cruiserweight division back anyway when it made its return in 2016. It wouldn't surprise me if the long-term plan was for 205 Live to be a thing simply to bury the division from the start. Put it in C, Barack. Let's get into some actual good tag titles. All of the old three can go in B. They're all fantastic, and they've all been held by some great champions. I've got nothing to add. Now it's time for the, oh no. Joe! Why are you shouting at me? You better not say you like this damn title. Nah, I can't even do it for the meme. It's an example of one of the darkest eras in wrestling history. A complete stain on women's wrestling as a whole. I will say it sucks to disrespect stars like Beth Phoenix, who tried to make this work, but for nearly killing women's wrestling in general. Into Cursed it goes. Now for the OG women's title, AKA the Trish versus Lita title. And the Mickey Licking James title. He's out of line, but he's right. Anyway, this design isn't any better in my opinion. Compared to the titles we have in B, I will agree that there's no room for it there. Regardless of the Trish and Lita rivalry, there's just not enough going on with the design. Oh yes, it's time for the William Regal Championship. I thought we were counting out star exclusive titles. Bill is only saying that because of how good it actually looked on Regal Joe. I won't lie though, for design alone it deserves to be put in B. If any mid-card title comes close to the intercontinental title design, it would be this one. Agreed. Okay, the hardcore title. I won't lie, I'm a little stumped with this one. The concept is great. It's had some great execution too, like with the triple threat mania match with the most badass looking Kane we've ever seen. 
but unfortunately, it would always be outshadowed by other championships. I tend to forget about it because of all the titles during the invasion angle. Or is that my old age again? Now, Joe, you're cooking there. The title's prestige was quickly lowered because of that. I think C is an acceptable placing for it. Okay, the light heavyweight title? Don't care. Yeah, I don't have much to say, unfortunately. It's nothing bad, though, so stick it in C. With that said, we're nearly there, boys. Ending it with the NXT titles. Let's start with the main ones first. I'd like to suggest B for the newer design and C for the older C one. C sounds too low for it, Barack. While I agree that the older design had some great champions like Neville, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. The design of the title completely ruins it for me. I'm with Barack on that one. That looks like something Donald would wear whilst wasting his time at the casino in the Trump Tower. I mean, you're not wrong, but I feel like people are gonna be upset at this. It is what it is. As for the newer design, again, it's had a great history, but I feel the design just doesn't do enough to get itself into the top tier. The United Kingdom title, on the other hand, yeah, that's a different story. It has one of the best title designs in history. Not to mention, it had a great lineage as well, thanks to Pete Dunne and Gunther. Don't you mean Walter? Again, Joe, that's in the past. Fine, fine. I don't think I could make a good rebuttal at that. But again, if there's one title people will be mad about in the comments, I guarantee it'll be the NXT one. That's the creator's problem, not ours. Isn't that breaking the fourth wall? Now, we've mentioned the creator numerous times so far on the channel, so Jordan will let those ones slide. Who the f*** is Jordan? I'm going to put the women's NXT title in B as well, for the same reasons. Same with the older design going in C. I don't know, guys. It reminds me a bit too much of the Divas title, probably because of the pink colors. A fair argument. But this title was carrying women's wrestling in the WWE until the Divas title was retired in 2016. For that reason, we cannot put it any lower. And once again, the exact same arguments for both versions of the NXT tag titles, too. Any arguments with that? Nope. As for the UK tag and women's titles? Straight up goaded tier? Mm. You don't agree? I mean, I'll let you have it, but I would have argued B because they're not as memorable as the other titles on the list. But at the same time, it would be criminal to put them in B because of those goaded designs alone. And the North American title? I'd honestly argue A. Wow, really? I mean, I'm just using the same case you've given for the other NXT titles. But in this case, I'd say it's the best looking title that American NXT has ever made. For that, it deserves a place in the top tier. God, you're cooking so hard with that one, Joe. Thanks, man. Ending with the newest world and undisputed titles. I'd argue B for both. It's hard to argue history-wise because they're still pretty new. So for the most part, I'd say the argument comes down to design. And like you said, Bill, the older world heavyweight title design still looks better. But the newer titles both look like step-ups from what we had anyways. So we thinking B? Acceptable. Sure. All right, and with that, we're done. Good job, boys. The creator's going to have a field day with this one. And not the good kind of field day. Viewers, let us know in the comments your thoughts on the list and what changes you would make to it. Thank you all for watching, and thank you all for the continued support of the channel. You guys are the best. Until next time. <laughs>